traditional marriage um, is something seen as a dirty word in some some places these days due to the rise of misguided feminism um, and the reason I say misguided because I think Billy Connolly's view on feminism is right on the money where he's talking about the way <laughs> basically it's like in a marriage or whatever whatever situation this is like want some of that want some of that want none of that very selective um, you probably heard me before about talking about the uh, women police wanting the same um, the same pay for the night shift allowance for the police that are on nights even though they don't do nights because they have family friendly hours um, this is a prime example of where things have gone completely mad um, now that's just a simple example there is a lot of councils facing bankruptcy at the moment because of the job allocation thing they've got at the moment where the pay scales are being matched randomly um, to bring people's pay up um, for jobs that they deem were in a line um, somewhere else you know like you could be say a bin man uh, and an administrator and then saying the similar jobs but x y so they're increasing the salaries to match you know it, it's causing absolute chaos and it's costing a fortune because right now i think it's a bright idea all these people go oh we got all this extra money later on we've got to pay all those pensions for all those state workers um, that have just received all this money um, which obviously brings their salary up in a line with a budget that doesn't exist because the budgets when they were set were set somewhere down here uh, or realistically somewhere down here for that year and then the next year and the next year and the next year but what's happened is they've turned around and said uh, somewhere up here you got to bring all that money up to match and it's just going to be an absolute mess Welcome to the UK and equality. Why is this all combining with a traditional marriage? Well, the fact is, I believe in a traditional marriage, but in a slightly modern way. Um, my wife can work if she wants. My wife can do whatever she likes. Um, I'm not sitting there saying, woman, get me tea on or anything like that. But I believe that people should have a choice. But the reason we lived in the Philippines and are living in Spain is because in the UK both members of family have to work uh, both parents because Parasite Britain relies on getting as much money out of people that work for a living um, in Spain we can afford for my wife to be at home um, because I'm the breadwinner I'm the provider and my wife takes care of the house and the kids what's wrong with that in a modern world some people assume it is wrong that the, the woman should be able to work well I haven't removed the choice the choice is there if my wife wants to work she can work there's no dictation but you will find if you're in a Filipino and foreigner relationship that a lot of the time your partner will want to work because they want a bit of independence but it also means if there is some family issues there the responsibility is not yours but theirs so if your partner does want to work and they're paying for their brother to go through school that's that's their decision you shouldn't really interfere in it um, where this can go wrong is when you find that um, you end up paying all the bills and everything in the house because everything she earns goes overseas that's something I don't agree with because that's just uh, the family back home abusing your wife um, and I wouldn't accept that I'll just set some ground like I said I'm very strong on ground rules and it's not like a school ground rules we go you must you must you must but more a case of having an open discussion saying this isn't right you should be doing this um, and just making everything understood communication because once you have that understanding with each other, it's no problem. It's like my wife at the moment. I just gave her a new laptop yesterday. Um, my wife's very happy with it. But the one thing I have asked her to do is do some training courses. 
um, because it's a, a flip top one, touch screen, all singing, all dancing. Um, so you can actually lay in bed and sit and do uh, some training on it in the evenings. Now, you may think, oh, well, you're forcing your wife to do something. I'm not forcing my wife to do anything. I just ask if she wants to do it, she can do it. But I encourage people to do it. I did it with my previous partner who actually relies on the education that she got from me putting her through college um, to work. And all I do is try to get the best out of people. And I'm annoying with it sometimes, I have to admit, <laughs> because I do see potential in people and if they're not driving it themselves I'll try and drive them up the wall a bit to prod them in the right direction but in a traditional marriage there's nothing wrong with it and I know some people will give you grief it's like oh your wife this or it's none of their business it really is none of their business um, I'll give you an example of Paul Paul is a um, guy I know in Worcester Paul's wife's from Thailand and we're out one Friday night because I'm back in the UK working and we've gone with a group of friends and uh, Paul's not there and these guys all work with Paul. I've, I've known Paul a few years because um, I met him before his wife got to the UK and meeting all the criteria had actually changed his entire life. Um, I met him when he was really struggling to meet all the uh, needs and demands of the state. Um, but they were all standing there saying, oh, well, Paul's under the thumb. Paul being under the thumb um, is having a beautiful wife at home who cooks for him, looks after him, um, also works, takes the kids to school. And on top of that, they even have the... Um, they even have the restaurant back in Thailand they own their own home because their whole structure is about the family so they're standing there having a beer saying the guys under the thumb blah 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 who's got it right all these guys sat in their bar all single because they can't find anybody that they're compatible with or the guy that's at home just got returned from work had a shower and sitting having a dinner with his beautiful wife <laughs> and instead of wasting his money in the pub he's putting it into something useful so these traditional things are not a negative thing and I really want to push that forward because the fact is people assume it's some bloody Victorian England uh, scenario with a with a traditional marriage no it's not a traditional marriage is husband works wife looks after the house it, all this other nonsense that they drive into it is stereotypical. A traditional marriage is wife looks after the kids and that's it. You know, they look after the house. It doesn't mean they work or don't work. That's nothing to do with a traditional marriage. That's the choice of that person. That is traditional marriage. Um, coming home and punching the wife is not a traditional marriage. It's domestic violence. Um, coming home drunk after spending all your wages. Um, that is not a that is not a traditional marriage. That is a um, a mess. And now the reason I point this out is because that's the stereotypes a lot of feminists use. That is not traditional marriage. Traditional marriage is people that respect each other, love each other, and the only thing that actually um, changes above that is one person is looking after the house, the other one is the main breadwinner. That's it. All these other bits they add to it, it's nonsense. Uh, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the PC brigade interfering and stuff um, because it's disrupted the whole um, society. Back when the uh, feminist movement in the UK was beginning, uh, the women were at home looking after the kids. They did the laundry, did all the other stuff. Bear in mind, doing laundry back then was a case of going down the street to a wash house. Uh, bearing in mind, getting food was a daily task. It wasn't something you just uh, ordered online or um, well, either, either order online or would just pop up to Tesco's on the way home from work. Back then, everything was fresh. 
because there was no refrigeration. So those traditional marriages where people seen it as a wife staying at home, da, 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 it was based on a very harsh, well, a harder lifestyle. But people were generally happier because they don't have debt, for example. Because um, debt's a bad word. Debt, they had thrift shops and things like that where you'd put money away every week. If you couldn't afford it, you wouldn't buy it. So these people may have had nothing in comparison to what we have today, but they actually had more because they had zero debt. So even in that scenario, it was a harsher life. The fact is, a traditional marriage today is far, far easier in some ways, but harder in others. Uh, financially, it's very difficult. And that's why we choose Spain over the UK, because if we stayed in the UK, my wife and myself would have to work just to meet the, the living costs of the UK. Um, it's, a, it's a hamster wheel. You can't move any further forward because the whole society is based on uh, living off your back. Be it the banks, be it the state, be it the benefit street, they all live off people that work for a living. Um, that's why I'm more of a person of the world these days than I would say British because uh, the UK is not what it once was. But traditional marriage wise, just tell people to get lost. If, if people start saying, well, you make your wife stay, don't make your wife do anything. You, you know, your wife decides what she wants to do. But in Filipino uh, society, being at home for a wife is part of the culture. Um, ignorance is bliss, as they say in some places. Um, I would say in the UK, it's often gossip because they create gossip on stuff that's irrelevant. Um, because the whole point is you, you get all that negative nonsense but the fact is you're happier than they are you must be they're, they're taking that much of an interest in your life and I just wanted to make this very clear because I'm a hundred percent for traditional marriage a parent should always be home with the kids they shouldn't go home to an empty house they should always have somebody at breakfast in the morning with them at least one parent if not both and I'm a strong believer in traditional uh, living and I will point out a very important fact here. There's no need for parents not to be there. The fact is we're overburdening the world with people, um, yet those at work struggle to be at home for their kids. There's something badly wrong on the ratio of work to family time. And it's, it's, a, it's a problem globally. All right, thank